thing. And I am currently going against Google Maps directions. Um, Google Maps wanted me to take a bus and then take the metro, which is two different tickets. But I was looking at the map, and if I take this one and get off at a certain stop, I can just get on. It's only a few stops to where I actually need to get off. Um, and I think it's only one ticket this way. Um, <laughs> I was standing by the map, and two different people asked me for directions. And I was like, I'm just as lost as you guys. But I did give them both directions, because I'm pretty good at figuring out like the subway maps and stuff. And oh god, the line for the tickets is so long. Holy cow. So I just had a second breakfast because I got off um, the, the metro and I was starving. Um, so I went, it was pretty good. Um, they recommended it at the hostel. The hostel is awesome, by the way. Um, maybe I'll show you guys. I'm gonna head back there because check-ins are till three. It's only 11, but my plans have kind of all gotten altered. I was gonna spend today kind of exploring and then tomorrow I'll spend the day at Sintra. I'm sorry if you can't hear me, it's really loud. Um, but now, for two days a year, I think I was telling you this, they open, um, like, the underground. Um, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. So, yeah, let's, it's going to be intense. I think today I'll just explore, kind of take it easy, and then tomorrow I'm going to do both. It's going to be crazy. But yeah, I'm just going to, like, wander for a little bit and then head back. There's a Starbucks in there. I kind of want, like, a muffin or, like, a drink because they had orange juice, but it was, like, really bad. It was gross. I don't orange juice to begin with but it was like full of pulp like I was like chewing it as I was drinking it it's not good it was very not good but yeah I'm gonna take some pictures and I will see you later I'm in the train station which is where my hostel is I'm gonna go back there's just a big group and I don't want to like push them all um so I thought I would take this time to kind of talk to you guys a little the hostel is really cool I'm really excited to go back I'm gonna hang out there for a bit I think I might actually do the like sightseeing like bus things uh, because, as you know, I love them. I'm gonna go on Pinterest and see what else there is to do, but just in case, I'm gonna do that. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna head back now. Oh, they upgraded my room. Don't know why, um, but I was in a 10-person mixed dorm. I'm now in a four-person dorm. So that was cool and very nice of them, um, for whatever reason, if they did that. Yeah, I'm gonna head in, and I will text you guys later. So I'm developing the worst fast food habit ever. I'm in Starbucks. Um, I'm actually just waiting. I um, don't want to leave until my tea is finished and brewing. Um, but guys, there's no way this is a tall. Like, this is huge. It's so big. I also got a muffin. Um, but I'm just trying to check something online and then I'm going to go to the tour bus. So, yeah, that'll be exciting. But I just want this to finish steaming. Okay. Leave so I don't have extreme. Okay, getting on the bus with tea was the worst thing I've ever done. They're just such a hassle, and I have my muffin in my lap as well. Um, I'm on the bus. It, this was much more confusing than any of the bus I've been on. There are a bunch of different lines. Like, how many do you want? Which lines do you want? And I was like, I don't know. I just wanted to get on and run around the city. Um, so I got two lines. I think I got blue and red. I don't know. I got a mouse. I'm going to check out what they are. But yeah, should be fun. So guys, we're coming up to the water. Um, I know it's been like a day since I've seen like a large body of water, but I'm talking about you here. Um, but I miss it, I really do. Ottawa is a lovely city, um, it really is, but I grew up on a lake, um, and I could go to lakes whenever I wanted, and I went all the time, and not having it, it's, it's really sad. And we have the canal, but it's not the same, Dow's Lake is not the same. Yeah, we'll see if I can. Because I really do miss it, guys. I love the water. I've discovered why this is so much more confusing than all the other ones. It's because this isn't like the sightseeing line, it's another one. It's. This one, it's just called Lisbon Sightseeing, but there's one that's city sightseeing and they do all the cities. Um, so basically, I got the house, which is not a problem. I'm still gonna see a bunch. It's a little upsetting because they do love the other line, but that's okay, we're gonna make most of it. I'm officially checked into the hostel. You guys have seen some of the hostels I've stayed in. This one, oh my god. I might take you around the common area after. 
Um, but it's cool, there's like fake grass on the floor and there's like chairs and hammocks and pool and there's this really, really nice kitchen. Like it's nicer than the kitchen we have back at home. Um, not like, not in Glasgow, well it's better than the one in Glasgow, but like the one like in my actual house, like where we pay rent and stuff, like it's 10 million times better than that. Um, and it's just, it's so cool and they have so many events and everyone's really friendly. They gave me this bracelet, which means I'm part of their family now. And there's three sister hostels in Lisbon and with the bracelet I get access to all of them. And like one of them has a pool and they have like different parties that I can go to. And like just show the bracelet and they'll let you in. I'm like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I wish I was here longer. Like they're so nice here. Um, so this is the room. Like we have a little couch and a table and all these plugs and like these are the beds guys like you guys know how the beds usually are like this one's mine i haven't organized any of my stuff i've got like, a fan i've got a really cute comforter and an outlet and then something to like put stuff in which is really handy because like i can put like my key and stuff in there so i don't lose it in the morning and a light and these curtains which when i can like block people out i love it and it like it says low cost it's true, this place is one of the cheapest hostels I've stayed in since coming here, like to Europe in general, and I'm just so like happy with it. I love this place, I never want to leave. It's like the best. Hey guys, I am having dinner in the Hard Rock Cafe Lisbon. Very excited. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna get, they have toasted mac and cheese. That is just cheese, or cheese, macaroni with three cheeses, red peppers, Parmesan and chicken breast. So good. Um, this is cool. I've never been in one outside Canada before. So this, I've guided you a view of like basically the bottom. It's very, very happy. Guys, I never vlogged after dinner. Um, everyone was so nice there. I don't know if it's because like most of them are like are English speaking or because they know I was a tourist, or because like they all knew I was from Canada or just because they're all nice people. But everyone was really nice. Um, my waitress was really cool. She was also studying abroad. She, um, she's from Venezuela. She's doing her masters in Portugal. Oh, that's so cool. So we talked about like our traveling and stuff and it was really cool. She's going on a trip next month. Um, and yeah, it was just, it's a good time. Um, I got takeaway because I couldn't finish it. I got about like 10 bites in and I was like, I'm done. So I did eat most of it, but yeah, there was a lot of food. Um, now I'm just kind of walking around. There is an ice cream place that's supposed to be amazing up here, but I'm not really hungry. So I'm gonna walk down um, to the river. It's actually a river, it just looks huge. Um, so I'm gonna walk down there, kind of see what there is to do. and. Maybe there is the elevator, but there's a huge line to go up it. Someone said you can go around the back, and like if you like walk up the road, you can just like get onto like the courtyard from there. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know, but yeah. I'm gonna hit a biker. A biker's gonna hit me. It's gonna be great. Um, <laughs> yeah, Lisbon is just so pretty. I'm really sad. I'm only here for two days. There's just so much to do. Tomorrow I'm getting up super early to go to the underground, and then, oh hey, that's sort of I do up. And um, yeah, it's just gonna be a really busy day. I'm not gonna see a lot of Lisbon, but I did go on the two things. So, oh, do I wanna do harbor or the, I'll do the water first, and then coming back, maybe I'll do that. Because I do really wanna go to the water, and I don't wanna like go all the way back this way to have to go all the way back. This is go. Guys, I love seeing my bank here. It's not like my Canadian bank, but like the bank I use while I'm here, it's, I saw it in Spain and here. So I'm, I'm quite pleased. No more like sketchy banks that I've never heard of. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. My arm is gonna fall off. I'll talk to you guys after. Good morning, guys. It is like 8.45ish, and I am headed to the underground Roman ruins. Um, I was told to get there really early because it gets really busy really fast um, and so they open at 10 head in their nail hopefully get there by 9 and hopefully an hour early is enough um, because after that I'm going to head to Sintra um, which apparently is a full day thing I'm gonna try and do it in less than a day um, but I was talking to one of the girls at the hospital 
um, and she was saying that there's instead of taking the same train back from Sintra, I can take a bus that will drop me off at like the most western point of Europe, um, which is something I would like was on my list to see anyways. I just thought it was like in Sintra, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna come back. She said I can get a train from there back. So yeah, I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be a good day. Um, breakfast at the hostel was so good. Like they had like buns and apples and um, like breads and meats and they had a bunch of like fruit and cereal and they had crepes. I didn't actually get to eat a crepe. I got there super early, like right when breakfast started um, because I wanted to be out early. And they'll start making the crepes about 8.30, which is fine. I'm a little sad I won't be eating breakfast there tomorrow because my plane leaves at like 8.30 in the morning. Uh, but it was really good, and I met two Ameri well, I met three Americans. Um, two of them were studying abroad in Madrid, and another one was um, she was just traveling. She was on vacation. Um, they both leave this morning, so they've already left for the airport, which is sad. But you know, uh, and yeah, so I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be a good day. I kind of have directions to this place. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure. I'm really glad it's sunny because it's really cold at the train station. Oh. So, as we all know, I hate carrying things around, but I'm carrying a giant hard rock bag because I'm gonna cross and I'm gonna get hit by this car. Cool. Um, yeah, because I'm gonna be gone all day. And so, I've got my water bottle, a sweater, am I? No, I need to go this way. Um, water bottle, a sweater, and lunch because I got my leftovers from, I went to hard rock last night, as you guys know. So I have my leftovers from that. Oh, just my little little bag for the day. Look at me, I have a packed lunch. <laughs> what a crazy line. And it's only four minutes past nine. See that hole in the road? <laughs> yeah, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. Okay, I only have four minutes of recording time left, so I'm gonna talk fast. Um, we went down the thing. It was really cool. You, there's like, it's basically just a couple of tunnels um, that's like half filled with water. Um, I guess because like, I don't know, but it was very wet. Hold on. There was no kind of like way to tell that it was Roman. Um, there was a tour guide who was telling us all the stuff. It was in Portuguese. I don't know, I'm going to go read about it on my own. But I'm going to head to Sintra now. I think what I'm going to do is just they have a bus that kind of goes around like through all the sites. I think I'm going to do that because I waited for almost five hours in that line. It's almost like... I'm assuming like 2.30 now, because I went in just before 2. So, <laughs> yeah, waited a long time. Uh, was it worth it? It only opens twice a year. It was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so, I'm just gonna do that, then I'm gonna go to the westernmost point in Europe, and then probably come back, because I'm probably gonna want dinner. I ended up eating my lunch in the line, because I was really hungry. Um, anyways, I'm probably not gonna record anything. I need to find a way because I keep getting memory cards and they only record 60 minutes but they take like a million pictures so I need to find a way to change that so that I can take more video but um, so I may not see you again today or maybe a bit of tomorrow so I will see you when I get the chance okay guys so I have a little bit of video time left um, I figured I do need a new memory card because I also have like five pictures left on this card it's not helping. Um, so I got a new memory card. Oh my god, I'll talk over her. I got a new memory card, but I can't get it out of the package because it's one of those like super like glued together ones. Um, so hopefully when I get to Paris, I can do that. Um, and then I will tell you all about Sintra. It wasn't that exciting. I went, didn't a lot of time, to get to do a lot. Um, so I just kind of wandered around the palace gardens. And then I went to Cabo de Roca. Cabo de Roca? Cabo de Roca. And it was amazing, and I took some awesome pictures, and met some awesome people, and I balanced on the edge of a cliff for a picture, because it was fun. Um, they're actually going to send me the picture at some point, so you can't even hear a word I'm saying anymore. So I'm going to let you go, and when I open this memory card, I will see. I did it. I got the new memory card open. It was really hard, and I broke it down. But that's okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, Sintra was really good. It's huge. I didn't think it was going to be that big. Um, I was reading online, people were like, oh yeah, you know, like there's three stops in the bus, and I was like, easily half a day. But then I waited in line for five hours for the underground, and then I got there, and it was already like four, so I went and just did like, I didn't go in the palace, I just kind of walked around the gardens, and went up to the palace and took some pictures. 
Um, and then I went to Cabo de Roca, and that was amazing. Um, yeah, so these pictures. Um, basically, there was like this fence that kind of like blocked you from like falling over the cliff. Um, it's basically just a vertical drop right into the ocean. Um, and so on the fence, like they had the post and they're like this big. And so I saw a guy who's like standing on it like taking pictures and I was like, I want that. Um, so I went up to him and like they didn't speak English and I was like, I want that picture. Um, and they did a bunch of different poses with him. There was like him and that two other friends. And they were awesome. It was really cool. If I have the picture, I'll like insert it here. Um, yeah, I did like just like a ballet arabesque and like from what I saw, it was not good technically, but you know, certain situations. I'm going to probably just hang out here. I might get, I ate a muffin already, but I might get more food. So I feel like we're gonna have a good flame, and I don't know if it's I don't think we're gonna have to so. Anyways, I'll see you later.